Brian, during the MSU shooting, first responders from across Michigan arrived within just minutes on the scene to protect and to assist a night many of them will never, ever forget. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid spoke with Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard about how he deployed his team to keep students safe that fateful night. On February 13, 2023, around 8.30 p.m., over 40 law enforcement agencies rushed to the MSU campus in East Lansing as reports of an active shooter came in. Oakland County Sheriff's Office sent a convoy of over 50 deputies in tactical gear, with Sheriff Michael Bouchard running point. When you got the call, what went initially through your mind? How can we help? With no time to waste, Sheriff Bouchard ordered all armored vehicles with lights and siren MSU bound. As soon as I got there, I went immediately to the command post. Some of our people had already um, taken up positions for, of security around the actual shooting area. But the thing that they really needed from us at that point was to have a place where the students could go and be safe and have a place where the parents could meet their kids. Nearly three miles away from Berkey Hall and the Student Union, the Sheriff's team turned the MSU Pavilion into a reunification center. I was at one door greeting them, hugging a bunch of them. One young lady had flowers in her hand. It was her birthday. What a terrible thing for her to deal with that, that now it will be associated with her birthday. What did you say to her? I hugged her. I, I said, you're going to be okay. Man, your flowers smell great. We'll get you through this. As the tragedy unfolded, sadly, three students lost their lives that night. Being a 1979 MSU grad, Sheriff Bouchard says the shooting was personal. Do you think about if there's anything that could have been done differently? Oh, that's something that I think about all the time. I mean, I've studied active shooters. So after Virginia Tech, where the assailant had put chains on doors to prevent people from getting out or other people getting in to help, I ordered bolt cutters put into our patrol cars. Sheriff Bouchard, what's the one thing you'll never forget from that night? But I worked at Ground Zero, I worked at Katrina, and I just know how those things never leave people that are touched by it. Not just the people we're going to save, but the people that are rushing to save them, that has scars too. I mean, we have some people that haven't been able to return to work after Oxford. What would your message be for the Spartan community and the Metro Detroit, Michigan community at large? If you're struggling, get help. It shows strength to get help, not weakness. But that includes first responders. Even in the face of darkness, Sheriff Bouchard says it's how everyone, including fire, EMT, and police from across Michigan, stood together that proved the best of humanity. For 7 Action News, I'm Faraz Javid.